Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Mark Zuckerberg. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, as a software engineer, do you agree with Mark Zuckerberg's statement that unless you're breaking stuff, you aren't moving fast enough? No. Um, I think that that statement is... Uh, but I, I, I don't want to say that it's wrong, because I think that it is a very, very good statement. But there's a few things that are lost in translation, and this is sort of... Uh, so this, I, I'm not going to pro project things onto Mr. Zuckerberg, uh, because I, I, re I mean, he, he might be an idiot. I don't think he is an idiot. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to assume that my interpretation of what the, of the statement is the one that he actually meant. I'm just going to give you my thoughts, and let's leave it at that. And you can then call me stupid or smart based on what I tell you. Okay? So this is just my interpretation of what that statement would mean. Uh, and what I'm saying here is that I think that it's taken out of context. This idea, and it's the same damn thing I see when someone says MVP. Because as soon as you hear someone say MVP, uh, the majority of people are either, or for like, you're either gonna go in one or two buckets. You're gonna be either the completely, well, well not always, but the very often very on, uh, inexperienced idealist who has read a few, few, few too many books on agile practices and sold the hook, line, and sinker. And then you're going to have the negative Nancys who are really, really upset about the whole thing and saying that, yeah, MVP always leads to shit software because you're always hacking things together. And see, that's kind of the, that's exactly what I think is happening here. What happens is that someone creates a, like a, in many cases, a fairly smart, a smart concept, a smart idea, a good invention or something like that, a concept that they have through sweat and toil and many years of study, often, and experiences, found uh, to be very useful. And then they try, to the best of their abilities, to relay that information to some other person so that maybe that's going to help their life. But you will very quickly realize that since the other people have never gone through the thing that you've gone through, uh, you kind of have to leave it up to them to make their own interpretation of what it is that you're teaching. Examples would be most like great philosophers and their philosophies. Do you think that the people who are speaking as the primary experts or the self-proclaimed experts have a good under like how how well can you trust that their interpretation of these other great thinkers that this is accurate and i will argue that often that that is the fundamental problem you have someone who has a genius idea or says something that is actually if you really understood it very smart but then you have people who are less informed or less smart who interpret it into something and do it wrong. And that's what I think that most people will uh, will do with what Mark Zuckerberg has said. It's the same thing as I said with MVP. MVP is a great thing if you do it right. It's, and that's kind of the thing, right? Uh, so what I argue, what I think that uh, Mr. Zuckerberg has meant is that you should create a system or like a software development process which is so developed that you are fearless in deploying things. That is what I argue. That he's me. What he means. And doing that, there's many techniques to do that. I have many thoughts on how to do this. But basically, the one thing that I argue, and I've said that in a video or two before, uh, the the best health check that you can give your own system is to ask the question. How confident are we in that the system is working as intended? Because one thing that I always see in every single company where the like the when the problems of the code, like when you don't really have this down, is that the developers get afraid of doing releases. A lot of manual hours goes into just checking is the system working, is it not working, and so forth. There's a lot of overhead go that goes into like outages and other like stability issues and so forth. And you, the, the best thing is when you see the transition for workload, uh, because usually in the beginning it starts with a lot of innovation, a lot of new features and development and so forth. And over time, which is natural, uh, more and more time goes into bugs and testing and things like that. But uh, you also hear the talk and the re feature requests that come in, or like the issue trackers. They get fill they start filled with feature requests, 
and the worse the system behaves the more time uh, you spend on just bugs and requests for improvements of of stability issues and so forth and as I said you 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 you, you get to a point where fear is a really very real thing within the company and that is why I argue that's what I argue the Zuckerberg means that if uh, you want a very healthy IT company and you want a product that can truly scale to the size of Facebook Google etc etc and move as quickly as they do with their features you need a solution that allows you to very fearlessly deploy, uh, deploy something and even if it doesn't work because imagine as you as you can imagine like guys it is so hard <laughs> it's so gosh darn hard to be perfect it's impossible possible to be perfect in a large system if you just think about the scale like if we talk about a small company if you have your own little uh, monolithic application yeah with maybe a few features it's probably fairly safe to say that you can probably deploy something and within your own skull no ah, it's probably gonna work imagine if you're working at the scale of Google where literally they have so many services that if they only have one failure in one of those systems say every other week it's probably still going to be like outages all the time and it probably does happen that's like one of the main reasons why we develop tools like kubernetes and uh, and so forth because uh, there is a it's such a complicated problem when you have so many nodes and pieces moving pieces that all need to align in some fashion and it's it's practically impossible to have this like small scale mindset where we're just going to make sure that we test everything perfectly and we're just going to make sure that everything works before we deploy it and if it if we deploy it and it doesn't work we're screwed or like we have to like fix that thing that way of working it works at a small company but it does not work when you are like a bigger corporation and i think more companies are understanding that that is the way we need to go uh, there are prejudices and there are misinterpretations of this and so forth but honestly from the times that i've seen this been done in a way like when practices are followed that makes this a very reality when you know that you can release something like that and you are not afraid of doing that because you know that if something breaks say like you're using almost one of my favorite things you're using feature flags well you know that you can deploy that thing under a feature flag out into production flip the feature flag on a little while for either a percentage like it's uh, you can call it a canary if you want to it doesn't really matter which strategy you're using you can just flip that thing on in production have people use it even if it's just an internal thing or whatever see that it works after a little while you go yeah okay let's make that a permanent thing and then you create a story or something like that to remove the feature flag because now it's a permanent feature and then you can deprecate the old code or something like that uh, or you can and you can of course use like rollbacks and so forth if it's a really critical issue etc etc there are so many strategies that makes this a reality because when you get to that point you are now unafraid to try to move fast you're unafraid to deploy things you don't have to try because as I said it's impossible to be perfect but when you're scared of making a mistake you're gonna slow down and you're going to hurt the overall effectiveness of your company so what I want you to take away from this is that I agree with my interpretation of what Mark Zuckerberg says uh, I don't agree with the ridiculous idi idiots who interpret the words of Mr. Zuckerberg uh, in the way that I've unfortunately worked with people with managers who have this exact idea oh we're just gonna move move fast and break things and uh, the second we do that and shit starts hitting the fan and customers come back and complain they they, they get really upset with us instead and we kinda go well I thought we wanted to move fast and break things yes but you, you know you need to uh, the, the system needs to work and I go yeah it needs to work so how, what do you want? Do you want speed and uh, fast deployment? Or do you want a working system? Which is it? You can't have both. Well, you can have, have both if you understand how to create a system where mistakes are something that is like, it's like nothing. There's no risk, in, practically no risk involved. And I think that that is the thing that Mark Zuckerberg meant when he said that uh, you're not moving fast enough if you're not breaking things. Have a great day.